friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really fun video for you all. We're actually headed into Walmart and we're going to find the best deals to create some higher quality home decor pieces that you always can't find at the Dollar Tree. This video is sponsored by Fetch Rewards and I'll share a little bit more about them later on in the video and how you can start earning money back today. But let's go ahead and get on into Walmart, see all the new fun craft items that they have and how I end up using them. So walking into Walmart's crafting section, I was already blown away. They have so many options and they're constantly adding. I did have to try to be careful because a lot of the pieces were marked wrong where they were setting. So they were in the wrong place. Like I took one of these to the register that were, was supposed to be five to six dollars and it rung up for 13. So be careful of that. But a lot of these larger pieces are definitely worth the 10 bucks in my opinion. You are not gonna find anything like this cheaper at your local retail stores even like Hobby Lobby and Michaels some of the enamel pieces were a bit pricey in my opinion I hate spending more than $25 on something that I'm gonna have to come home and craft but I do not care a bit to spend 10 bucks on something that I know I can personalize and customize to something that I love and make it my own so you are gonna save a ton of money if you buy the bare like raw wood pieces versus the pretty farmhouse finished pieces although it is so tempting but I got some really good stuff and you just have to take a couple of extra minutes to paint it or finish it as you would like but a lot of these pieces are super large they have it priced at all different prices so it would fit into anybody's budget just depending on how large you want to go but I love the signs they are adding with the bead hangers and these were like multi-pack so so much potential and they even have tons of options options for decorating these signs. These little wood trucks are actually this is kind of big but it was new to me and then I picked up one of those signs to use with my Cricut later on this year but so much potential. I just was in love with it all. So of course they have the higher priced items, but they do have a lot of pieces that are under a dollar or right at that price point. So I love these circle options in the raw wood or unfinished wood. So I love that. And these photo frames for just four bucks. I love going through Walmart's floral sections. They always have these in the middle of the aisle at my store and usually the flower picks are around 99 cents. I love these hanging succulents. Now this is in the wrong place. It is a little bit more pricey. It's around five dollars um, or a little bit over but it they have a ton of different options and I use these all the time. If you're watching my DIYs you know I love hanging these out of every kind of pot and planter that I have right now. They just give it a nice higher end look and these are so trendy and they had several different styles and colors so I did splurge on those. And then like I picked up this home sign, but $5 is pricey for this word in my opinion. I did go ahead and grab it for myself because I loved it so much. But if you are wanting a cheaper price point, you can look, like I said, for the unfinished wood pieces. And these were just $1.67. You could add a little bit of white paint to that and it will look super nice, just as cute. Just takes a little bit more work. I loved this frame hoop sign so I grabbed that. I knew you all would love um, to see some different options with this so I was going to show you what I ended up doing with it and then grabbed one of these initials and ended up making this for a sweet friend. Let me know if you check out your Walmart crafting section, if they have the, these supplies that I'm sharing today or not, but this was one of my favorite pieces that I picked up. So I love these signs that are ready to go. They had a ton of blank signs, but this one actually had the little wooden hoop hanging down from that burlap. So I thought this would be really cute and fun. So I did a uh, splurge, like I said, on the home word, but you could go cheaper by adding stickers, hand lettering that on there, or even grabbing one of the unfinished words. But I needed to pick up my hoop a little bit because it was hanging pretty low and I wouldn't have been able to fit the word in there. So using my wooden buttons that I'm in love with from Walmart, I decided to double over the burlap. I just glued this in place and placed the button on the top.
I picked up one of the initials and then just tacked the little hoop down in place with a dot of hot glue and then using some antique wax to cover the letter. That way it's not painted 100%. It has a little bit of a faded look, so this does appear to be like stained wood. But even though you are doing this on MDF, you're kind of getting the same effect, but this was super inexpensive. I let that completely dry, glued it in the center, and then added in some greenery touches as well as some of these mini little sunflowers that I picked up from Dollar Tree. So I feel like this turned out adorable. I feel like it definitely would have been a higher end ticket item if you would have purchased this at a craft show, but we got to make it at cost by just taking a few minutes. I love how this turned out and this would make an awesome gift. Next up, while shopping, I found these nice plaid plank pieces. These were $3.97, so right under $4. I picked up a few of them and I instantly knew what I wanted to do. I was going to try to connect these together to make a larger piece. So the first thing I had to do was strip them down. I pulled off the labels and took the little hangers off of the back and I'm actually going to be attaching these together a little bit later on. First, I wanted to give these a coat of stain, so using my favorite flagstone stain that's all I use on anything anymore. I just love it so much right now. And these were a little bit tricky to stain because they did have a lot of details underneath and getting the sides of the boards, but I just took a couple extra minutes and then after that dried, I sanded it to give it a little bit more of a distressed look and let some of that lighter color wood show through. And then using some wood glue, I am attaching these with some tower blocks. I was constantly making sure these were setting flush together so that none of the glue was going to drip in between. After they were glued together, I placed this outside on my outdoor dining table and decorated it with some solar lights and this candle and I just love it and it's something that won't blow away. Now I want to stop and take a second to let you know a little bit more about Fetch Rewards and share with you just how you can start earning money back and how I love earning money back just by taking a second to scan in my receipts on purchases that I'm already going to be making anyways. So all you have to do is download the app to your smartphone and anytime you have a receipt or purchase anything online, you just scan the receipt. It only takes a couple of seconds and you can start earning back points to all of your favorite places. It's so exciting earning gift cards from Starbucks, Target, Amazon, Visa gift cards. You can even link your Amazon account. So anything that you are purchasing online, all of your e-receipts, they will definitely count too. You'll be able to earn money back just from grocery shopping, running your errands, um, eating out at restaurants. Obviously all of our Dollar Tree crafting supplies will earn us money back as well as today I am scanning in my Walmart receipt on all of the things that I did purchase for this craft video. It's super easy to use. You don't have to pre-select any items or shop for specific products. It does all of the work for you. You can see here that I have built up several points and I'll be able to cash those in and get myself a treat. Just by taking a couple of extra minutes to get those receipts scanned in and like I said, it's purchases that I'm already making anyways. Be sure to go check out the links down in the description box. And if you go click the link, you can earn 3,000 points just for uploading or scanning in your first receipt. Make sure you add Crafts by Caitlin whenever you are getting signed up. So be sure to go check that out and start earning money back today. But without further ado, let's jump back into crafting and seeing what else I make with more of these awesome Walmart finds. So this is one of my favorite finds for around six bucks. It is a huge sign. And actually I think you're supposed to decorate the front, but I ended up flipping it over so that it would have this cute little frame around the edges. I removed the hanger and then they all have like little tags screwed in there to make sure that they are gonna stay on there. So I did take a screwdriver and unscrew that and remove the staples using my just pliers and wire cutters. And then using sandpaper, I'm trying to blend all of that in because it did have those tiny little holes so I go ahead and sand all the way around the edges. Now I did pick up this galvanized heart from the Dollar Tree 
but I am going to be using everything else from Walmart. I found that small little white heart from Walmart as well as these letters and that little burlap letter and these were all around a dollar. So a great price point. Um, we would all be so excited if Dollar Tree had wood pieces like this that were actually finished in the whitewash from Dollar Tree. So I feel like that was a great price and so easy. It didn't take any work at all just to glue those down in place. You can see where I removed the jute hanger. The heart did have some holes and I wanted to cover that up so I thought it would be fun and creative to add this little vine by adding some white paint and just kind of made it go in the same direction all the way around. And then I'm using the back of my paintbrush to add some little dots and I just feel like this gave it more of like a romantic decorative touch and a cute project that you could display in your bedroom. Next up, I found these adorable little tin buckets. They say spring, but I found these fairly recently, so they should still have them. But you got a two pack for around seven bucks, so I thought that was pretty inexpensive. These are like nice, hefty little buckets, and I thought they would be adorable setting out on a patio. So you could melt like a citronella candle in here, or you could put like, you could plant like real flowers or succulents. I am just going <laughs> because I can't keep anything alive out there um, in the front, on the front patio because we always water our plants in the back uh, with a hose. I decided to make this really cute with some faux flowers. I picked up this floral greenery pick from Walmart, very inexpensive, and it is just full of a ton of different types of greenery. So I feel like you get a, big, a bigger bang for your buck here than trying to buy these separate, but you can see just $3.47 in the store, very inexpensive, and I feel like, like compared to Dollar Tree's floral picks where you have to purchase so many to get like an actual um, pretty full bouquet, I feel like that's like a good price and then filled in succulents with the other one just from Dollar Tree and using some of my hanging succulents, but I think they turned out really cute. So I found these small little wooden crates. Actually, they're really good sized compared to the Dollar Tree ones. And I've actually used the Dollar Tree ones to create like fun bouquets, but you have to glue like four to six together to get something that could house plants like this size. So I thought this was an okay deal. I love that it's so big and it feels really sturdy. So I tried to stain this and I didn't realize that it does have like a sealant coat over it. So it wasn't taking the stain very well, but I had already done like half of it so I decided just to go ahead and let it soak in what it, it could. It did um, soak it up a little bit so it changed a tiny bit but not much and then I glued in some styrofoam and then I found these beautiful sunflowers at Dollar Tree so I did add those in but Walmart also has out sunflowers right now for 97 cents and I just didn't pick up any more because I knew I already had these at home but they were both beautiful and priced the same. I stuck these in the front and then tried to fill up the back with some lamb's ear. And then using these tiny little sunflowers from uh, Dollar Tree as well. These are some of my favorite fall pieces to use and sunflowers I feel like is something that you can definitely um, enjoy late summer but this is a piece I'll get to keep out throughout the fall. I have one of these mar uh, farmers market signs. It came off of a little hanging sign from Dollar Tree and I just added a popsicle stick to the back and then I was able to stick that down inside the styrofoam. I did cover it up with some Spanish moss and tuck that down in there but I feel like um, this is just a really fun cute piece that like I said you can enjoy the rest of the summer as well as going on into the fall season. Thank you all so much for coming along and crafting. It was so much fun mixing up this video and testing out Walmart's craft section versus Dollar Tree. There's definitely pros and cons of both. Obviously, you're gonna pay a little bit more at Walmart, 
but Dollar Tree, you do kind of have to skimp on the quality most of the times because you are just spending a buck. So let me know in the comments down below which one of today's projects was your favorite, um, where you love to shop most for your craft supplies. Don't forget about Fetch Rewards. It's definitely worth your time. Go check out that link to earn your 3,000 points for uploading or scanning in your first receipt. It's super easy to use. I use them all the time, love using it, and love getting those um, points back to earn free money. Thank you all again for watching. Don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy crafting. Bye.